An excursion train will depart from the city station at 10.35, arriving at 13.45, returning at 23.43, and arriving back at city station at 0256. Proving it takes three minutes longer coming back than going. Special rate, 35 bob return. Refreshments will be available on the train. We know what that means. Boozing and singing, vomiting even, I shouldn't wonder. What's it say in the paper? The stage is set for an epic gladiatorial contest as the gallant underdogs tackle the Midland Giants. As the gallant underdogs tackle the Midland Giants. Eh? Tackle the Midland Giants. By God, they write some stuff then, fellas. They're all alike. Rubbish. I read he likes it. <laughs> Doris is the same. Aye, they're all the same. Oh, murders, isn't it? Yes, it is, isn't it? Shooting and stranglings and goings on. They shouldn't put it in the paper. I mean, it's the youngsters, really. Hey, look over there. I wonder who let them out. Come on, Bee Brain, over here. Shut up, Bee Brain. I said, beside the bookstore. Under clock, you said. Who wants to buy books? And you said... I had to go back home for something. That's why I was a bit late. What, did you forget your head? Here, look. Hey, you haven't... You mad at a beggar. That's right. You stupid... <laughs> Ten and a half minutes late. Somebody should start a petition about it. It's a bit misty, is it? Is it mist? More what you'd call smoky. You get to expect it. Let's have a look who's on the train. They're all very quiet. What's the weather forecast say? Dry with sunny periods, scattered showers later dying out. Mm. Must be smoke then, not mist. Good. Funny. Very quiet opposite. She's a pretty girl. Watch yourself, Norman. Bernard? Yes? Is it, like, important? What? This football match. It's a cup tie. Oh, is it? Yes. What's that? They're playing for the FA Cup. You mean if Rovers... Uh, is it Rovers? Rovers, aye. If Rovers win, they get a cup? No. I just thought... If they win, they play somebody else. And then somebody else. And... Like a knockout tournament. Oh, like University Challenge. Then the two teams left, they play at Wembley. And the winners get the cup. Wembley? It's a big stadium, like... I know, Wembley. It's where they sing Abide With Me. Football's the best part, really. I mean, that's what it's for. It's a nice hymn. I like it. That and Eternal Father. Remember Wolverhampton, don't you? Wolverhampton? Don't you? I remember Wolverhampton, all right. What it says here... Hey, listen... Rover's brilliant left winger, Dave Cummings. Let's have a look. Brilliant? Lads in the shop call him Nelly. <laughs> Only uses his left leg to stand up on. I'll tell you something. Dave Cummings, he'd never have got in the team that played at Wolverhampton. Might have let him put the ball up, that's all. Remember that goal Sid Curtis scored? 30 yards out and... Who? Sid Curtis. Blonde-headed kid went to Queen's Park Rangers. The second goal, 30 yards out. Sid Curtis? Went to Queen's Park Rangers. Oh, Alf Johnson came from Derby County. No, not Alf Johnson. Second goal at Wolverhampton, right-footed, first-timer. Sid Curtis couldn't kick with his right foot. That's why it were Alf Johnson. Liked his beer. Well, I'm not going to argue. No point in arguing. It was a great goal. Oh, a great goal. I'll not forget Wolverhampton in a hurry. They say it's a lovely shopping centre. 
Our John says... I know, our Albert, the, the one has had shingles, he was saying it's noted for woollens. Is it really? Woollens, yes. Well, most places are noted for something. But here it's woollens. Fancy. So, when Arthur said about the excursion, I said to myself, well... You did right, Doris. Like he looked at me a bit sideways, but... So did Tom. As long as you don't come to the match, he says, you can do what... What the hell you like. Do you know, I've never heard your Tom swear. This afternoon it'll be like that. Referees, that's what sets him off mostly. Referees. I don't think Arthur likes them very much either. Do you need any woolens? I don't know. I won't really know till I see some. How do you know which is Rovers? Rovers wear red shirts and white shorts. I see. All the time? How do you mean all the time? What, every time they have a match? All teams do. They all wear the same colours for every match, more or less. Bit boring. Always wearing the same thing. They're all fellas. Fellas don't bother about things like that. What about the other team? United. What colours? Green. Don't much like red and green together. They should never be seen, my mam says. Dave Cummings. What about him? He's a big Nancy. Is he act? He's a bigger one than you, and that's saying something. Best winger they've got. Our oh, mam can play a better game than him. Scored last week. Aye, with his backside. <laughs> Give over. Said in paper, a skilful deflection by Cummings. You what? Nudged the ball with his bum as it went past. You're talking rubbish. He nearly died of fright when it went in. He blushed. Rubbish. I'm telling you, he blushed. True as I'm riding this bike. Blushed. Never seen nout like it. Different match to one I saw. Only to be expected. You being so thick to begin with. Rover's main hope rests with unorthodox left winger Dave Cummings. Approaching the veteran stage, but still liable to surprise defenders with... Veteran? He's only 32. What's that make me if you're a veteran at 32? <laughs> Never did like this paper. Pretty full the train. Should be a good gate. They've brought their wives with them. No place for a woman a cup tie. I wouldn't take my wife to a cup tie. That's if, if I had a wife. Dave Cummings approaching the veteran stage and he's 32 and I'm 45 and I've got a wife. But it's no place for a wife a cup tie. Anyhow, he was a bloody awful left winger when he was 27. Well, I remember them pillar slips. Did I tell you about the pillar slips? And anyhow, I looked and it said special offer and I thought, well, that seems. How much did you say? 14 and 11. Well, you're bound to, aren't you? Well, special offer. What I mean is it was special. 14 and 11? Six for a shilling. Is that all? Special offer. Didn't know you went shopping. Getting some bread for the old lady. Backhander in it like. Anyhow, there they were. Six for a shilling. Row upon row. So I got a packet. Stuck one at lav. Two in the kitchen cupboard. Three in my pockets. Start chucking toilet rolls. They'll have you out the ground. 30,000 people watching. Who'll know who pelted it? Hands up who slung the toilet roll. Give over. Bam pot. Anyhow. It's only if Rovers score, and everyone's going to be watching goal when that happens. It won't happen. I'm telling you, 3-1. Rubbish. Let's see your money. All right, then. How much? A note. A quid? I'm not bothered. Me money's safe. Right, then. Right, then. Pity about that twerp Cummings being on left wing. What are you thinking about? You like football, don't you? Yeah. Funny, isn't it? I like Jean Pitney. Do you? Well, you know where you are, don't you? With Jean Pitney or anybody like that. What's it got to do with football? The same as the pictures. You know what's on before you go. You know what it's going to be like. Football, you can't tell. That's the fun. That's what makes it so exciting. They might lose. I know. They'll probably lose today. If you think that, why did you bother coming? They might not. Well, that's why. If they win, it'll be terrific. I want to see it. 
Rovers only third division and then first division. You see? I suppose it's daft, really. It's nothing like Jean Pitney at all. What's third division mean? I remember. Shot straight at him, didn't he? O'Leary it was, Irish international, shot straight at him. No, he had to move to his left. Hardly. At Wolverhampton you're talking about? That's right, just before half-time it was. Moved to his left. I don't want to argue, but... I'm not sure he didn't dive. He definitely didn't dive. Rovers are a well-known cup-fighting side. Best remembered for their 2-0 win over Wolverhampton Wanderers in the fourth round of the Cup 15 years ago. 15 years ago? Can't be 15. There was the Festival of Britain in 1951. Then, yeah, 15 years. 15 years. It's a long time from one bit of glory to the next. And then they got knocked out next round. Played like girls. At home and all. Right let down was that. Swindon Town. Eh? Swindon Town. Darlington. Darlington? Darlington. Funny. I just have a kind of sensation, you know. It might have been Crew Alexandra. Three miles to the station, it said, near that signal box. Five minutes ago. If we were going 60 miles an hour, it'd be three minutes, a mile a minute. But we're not. Not even 30 miles an hour now. Very slowly, you could say. Signals it'll be. I'll put my coat on all the same. We'll have to stand up. I thought you knew. I thought they'd be sitting down. There is, but you've got to get tickets and costs a bit. How long for? A couple of hours. Just in case they win. Hey, Bean Brain, what? You carry that one. Get nutted. Go on. Can't have them all under me coat. I look seven months gone. You never can tell. It could be like Wolverhampton again. Just hope for the best. All you can do. I hope it doesn't rain. Doesn't rain at football matches. But if it does... Get wet. Have you got your purse, love? Yes. I bought a rain hat. Did you? I've got a scarf I can use. And please, Lord, make Dave Cobbins have one of his good days. We're here. Good crowd. Lots of Rovers people here. If it wasn't for this chap in front, I'd have another sandwich, only he wouldn't want tomato down his neck. And I think he's one of those. All right, are you? Aye, I'm all right. Are you all right? Aye, I'm all right. Well, that's all right then. Must be 40,000 here. More than Wolverhampton. Never in the world. You'll be all right once they get started. I must be a bit simple. What for? Like, if I can't see now, how's it all going to change? Will they all go home or something? I can see smashing. Can you? All right, I'll manage. Good lobbing distance. There's a lot of coppers round the pitch. Unruly elements in crowd. That's all they're bothered about. Like you. I'm not unruly, just enthusiastic. Thank you very much. Ask her about the woollens. Where's your wool department, please? Here they come. Come on, Rovers, you great daft twits. Right, lads, let's be having you. Come on, Rovers, you useless shower. Take it easy. Nice and steady. I can't see. Wolves have come out. Trotting out, muscular, confident, onto the field, limbering up, sprinting, kicking, heading, rolling the sleeves up. They always look good before the match. Look at Dave Cummings. Shooting in, traps the ball like Matthews. Smooth and easy, two strides, and thrashes it into the net like Bobby Charlton, younger of the famous footballing brothers from Ashington, Northumberland. Always looks good, Cummings, when he's practising. Hasn't scored in a match proper for two and a half months. We've won the toss. Happen it's the only thing we will win. I don't know so much. Remember what happened at... I know, I know. 
Did you say that's us in red? In red, yes. They're prettier than the others. Come on then, Rovers. Stand on them. Get stuck in. Anything above grass. They can't run without legs. No messing. Get stuck in. And straight from kickoff, Rovers are defending. Not muscular anymore. Not confident anymore. Tough, dogged, chasing everything. But the green shirts keep swarming back. And their right winger gets the ball and looks dangerous. So two Rovers players trip him up at the same time because they can't stop him any other way. He's given a free kick. He never touched him. Paid £50,000 for him, they did. Wouldn't give 50000 washes for him. Right, pansy. He's got nice fur hair. You what? He's got nice hair. Can't possibly have. He's on their side. Struggling a bit, Arthur. Aye, just a bit. Hey, look at that. Besty that. Send him off. Send him off. Dirty swine. What did he do? I didn't see. Real cup tie stuff. <laughs> Rough as hell. First time tackling straight in. Bang. Hard luck if you get in the way. It's grand to watch. 25 minutes gone. And Rovers beginning to attack. Not really dangerous. More what you'd call hopeful. Optimistic. Hit hard and hope. Up and under. Kick and rush. Thump it down the middle and run like hell. Then, suddenly, with a rush of blood to the head, Somebody rolls the ball neatly, quietly along the ground to Dave Cummings on the wing. Fancy giving it to him. Get a move on with it. Standing there, gawping. Fanny in a boat. He's just stood there. Get rid of it. Boot it. Push it down the wing. Centre forwards waiting for the bat. He's going to shoot. Shooting from right out there. The net. The steaming Scottish net. And Dave Cummings shoots from 30 yards. And he scores. What a lovely goal. Goal, he never saw it. Like a flaming rocket. With wrong foot. Did you see it? Did you see it? That was a goal, wasn't it? A beauty. Was that our side? Was it the red ones? Cummings, you're the greatest. He's the greatest, all right. Here we go. Hey, stop it. We've scored a bloody goal, man. What do you expect me to do? Come on, the lads. And there's a bit of trouble behind one of the goals. Kids throwing toilet rolls. Policemen moving in. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What a pity, what a pity. Lovely goal, though, Dave Cummings. You'd have thought he was practising. Half time. Nice cup of tea. Very nice. It's a nice colour. What, what colour did she say it was? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Dirty brown, I'd call it. Bean brain. You're the bean brain. It was you saying, it weren't us, it weren't us. He's bound to be suspicious, isn't he? I didn't pelt the flaming thing. That's got nothing to do with it. Of course it has. Flaming hasn't. We're watching the second half out here in the street. What of it? If you hadn't slung the toilet roll, we'd still be inside. It's not a bad street. I fancy him, you know, Arthur. It's early days, but it could be another Wolverhampton. Another Wolverhampton? Oh, Bayek. We've waited years. Years and years. History might repeat itself. Rovers holding out with something to spare. Only occasionally resorting to shirt pulling, ankle tapping and elbow digging. Even then they're more sinned against than sinning. It's United that's getting desperate now. Why did the police do that? Because they threw a toilet roll. Why did they throw it? Because Rovers scored. They were happy about it. Are you not allowed to be happy? Only according to the rules. Is it alright shouting what that fella was shouting? What was he shouting? I'll whisper. Look at that! Lovely play, Dave! Playing well is Cummings. He's a good lad. Good ball player, that's the thing. Usually are from Scotland. Dave Cummings. Look at that. Lovely play. Playing well is Cummings. Dave Cummings, the hero of Rovers. One week in ten, we love him more than the Beatles or the Queen. The rest of the time, he's a cross between Charlie Drake and Mussolini. He's playing a lovely game. They all are. All playing a lovely game. Better than they did that day in Wolverhampton. All them years ago. Until 
until suddenly the centre-half slips and the centre-forward gets the ball and he's clean through, churning through the middle towards the goal and only the Rovers goalkeeper to beat, just the two of them and everything seems to stop. Where did we say we'd meet them? Town Hall steps. Along this way, I think. We must have walked miles. A goal. It's a goal! One all. Rovers have scored again! Two nil! One all. One all. Would you credit it? One all. One flaming all. Bernard? What? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Don't you know? I can tell there's something wrong. United equalise. Three minutes to go. And they equalise. 5,000 men, women and children want to cry. It's in the nature of a betrayal. Like biting into a soft centre only to find caramel. It's all over. It's a good job I left the dog at home. My hours and all. Boot it over yon stand. There was only three minutes to go. That's no excuse for language like that. Yes, it is. If that's what football matches do. Well, they do. That's what football matches do. One all. I told you. Hard luck, though, weren't it? We didn't see half of it. We don't know. Must have been hard luck. If it had been 10 1, it'd still be hard luck. You're a nutcase. Never mind. Half an hour and the pubs are open. And now we've all got to find something to do until 23.43. 20 to midnight. Wine, women and song. Ha ha ha. I have to find a cafe. All my sandwiches have gone soggy. You'll be able to tell by their faces. They're taking their time. You should see him come in when they've lost. Slams the door, chucks his cap in the corner, Dog goes under a chair. Oh, is that them? Where? That's them. Tom looks happy enough. Arthur looks as if he's had a nasty accident. Must have been a draw then. There's wrestling. Don't be stupid. Here we are. The Majestic sounds like the place. Eight o'clock. That's in about six pints from now. I've still got that other toilet roll. Hang on to it. What for? You might want to wipe your nose. Here's the place, the Green Dragon. Let's have a look at menu. Sweet and sour king prawns with boiled rice or chips. What's this one? Green Dragon special with bamboo shoots, bean sprouts, egg noodles. Oh, I don't fancy that. Here we are. Addock peas and chips. I wonder what they're having. Oh, Natalie were telling me she'd had something nice in one of these places. Now, what was it? Curried hedge clippings. There's some right stuff down here, by heck. You'll like it. Aye. Aye. What you having, then? I don't know. What are you having? What are you having, Arthur? What are you having, Tom? I'll have what Edie has. I'm not all that hungry. We had them scones. All right, then. I'll have a Green Dragon special... So long as there's not too many dragons in it. It's all right, the queue's moving. About time. There's no queue at that one down the street. Don't want to go there. It's an Italian film. What about it? Well, it'll be in Italian, won't it? <laughs> I should think so. They always are. I saw one on the telly. Do you like Charlton Heston? He's all right. You know where you are with him, any road. Oh, yes. Not like football. Nothing to do with football. Edie got some wool. Good. She got some wool, Arthur. Oh, aye, good. Ask me what colour. Oh, aye. Any special colour? Cinnamon. Cinnamon? That's its name. More like dirty brown to me. It was very reasonable. Apparently, it's noted for wool. Cinnamon? When I were a lad, I remember we used to smoke cinnamon. That's right, I remember. Don't remember knitting any. He was on the train, him that just went out. And now I've eaten 
No. Is it coming on to rain? No. Just thought for a minute. I've got four hours yet. Pictures. What's this one? Italian. Let's see the stills. Oh dear, it's one of those. So, what's it matter? You're a long way from home. Walking up and asking for the tickets, that's the hard part. There's one further along, the Curzon. Bible epic. Bit of a cue, though. Best walk about a bit. Think about it. Plenty of time. You all right? Yes, thanks. It's warm. I can see everything. I've got an ice cream. Same here. Guess what it's better than. Summarising then, we would seem to have, on the one hand, Charlton Heston in Second Book of Kings, and on the other, or if you prefer it, at the dark end of the street, Sweet Passion in the Rice Field with subtitles. It isn't easy. It isn't easy at all. How much longer are you going to be? Plenty of time. Just because they found out it had a licence. Well, Edie doesn't like pubs. It's a fair drop of brown, this, for bottled stuff. There's the bill. Two pound, three and six. There's a place near the works where you can get hot pie, peas and chips for half a crown. And that includes your bread and butter and tea. We're having a day out, it doesn't matter. If Rovers had won, it wouldn't have mattered. I'm not sure if Jacques goal wasn't offside, Tom. I thought so at the time. Forget about football for five minutes. Oh... We'll split this, Arthur. Nice, nice bit of wool that was you bought, love. It's a right place, this, isn't it? Like a battlefield, isn't it? Well, it's Saturday night. They're all looking for it. Well, no time to waste. Off are you? Redhead. If we're leaving at 11, I'll have to be quick out traps. All the best. I'll be all right. Don't worry, kid. The Asoldo. Sweet passion in the rice field. Seats in all parts. Oh, it's a woman in the pay box. I don't think I could look her in the eye. Hey, there's a second feature. Naked and unashamed. No showing. Second Book of Kings. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I like biblical films. Yeah. Sheila? Yes? Sorry, but I've got cramp in my arm. Oh, have you? There. Oh, shoots right through you, right past my shoulder. Shh. Here we are. Oh, look at the time. No point going in now. Two thirds of the way through the film, last performance. Half past nine. Two hours. If I walk very slowly to the station, then have a cup of tea there, buy a paper, then the train might be there and I could sit on it. In it. That's the best plan. A slow walk. Now then, kid. Oh, Terry, I thought you got fixed up. He's got a fella here. Didn't you sort him out? He was about seven foot six. Aim low. And he's got about nine mates. And they were all seven foot six and all. Where are you going? Up on balcony. What are you going to do? Hey. Where'd you get that bog roll from? Your coat in the cloakroom. You can't throw that in here. Where is he? Terry, you're a raving lunatic. That's right. There he is. Bielli's a good target, being so tall. I'm off. Here we go. Good kid, Terry. I direct it. Paul axe the bastard. Stations this way. Are you sure? There's the town hall. General post office. We've been calling it the town hall. General post office. Ministry of Social Security. And the station's up that way. He played a storming game, though. What? Dave Cummings. I think Charlton Heston's very good. Yes, he is. Very good. Did you want to get a bus to the station? I think I'd rather walk. I'd rather walk as well, then. Best thing if we walk, then. Which way's the station? God knows. Could be straight up for all I know. You're a dope. Never dull though, is it, kid? 
getting us slung out the dance and the football match. It's not bad. Didn't I fetch him a crack? It did the twit. Wonder he didn't fetch you one. Wasn't watching, was he? That bouncer was watching though, wasn't he? He was a big kid, wasn't he? Legs like tree trunks. Where's the flaming station? I haven't got it. If we miss the train? If we miss it, at least we won't get slung off it. Departing at 23.43 and arriving at City Station at 0256. Still a bit worried about the three minutes difference between coming and going. Tired. Our Tony was going to leave our electric blanket on. I'll have my bottle. I like my bottle. Could have been, you know. Could very easily have been. Just for that goal, three minutes from the end. An offside goal. And it would have been another Wolverhampton. You said it was one goal each. Yes. And you get a goal for kicking it between them posts? Yes. I saw them kick it between the posts three times. They got one, it was disallowed. Somebody fouled. Is that like cheating? That fella standing behind me called the referee that... that word. He did, didn't he? What's it mean, that word? Exactly what does it mean? 23.43, dead on time and away. Hey up, there's two lads sprinting down the platform, jumping on the train when it's moving. Shouldn't be alive. Bloody hell! It's great going away with you. That's why I'm so popular. Slung out of everywhere. We're on our way home. You're not fit to be out on your own. That's why I brought you with me. Coming back from Wolverhampton. Played cards all the way. Solo. Poker. I'm going to say it was solo. I've got a recollection it was three card brag. They're funny, aren't they? They're funny, all right. I mean, they just live from one football match to the next. Keeps them going somehow. Bernard, love. Yeah? I think another time, you go on your own to football matches. I think I'm wasted on a football match. We'll go some other place next time. I'd like that. I'll have to tell George. George? Just this lad. Don't worry about it. I'll sort it. What lad? The Saturday Pink. Gallant Rovers surprise overconfident United. Late equaliser prevents sensational victory. Seems about a million years ago. Funny, the women. They just live from one special offer to the next. Yeah, I have noticed. It's only shop windows keep them going. Doris? Did you see them length of curtain material? She's asleep. Hey, Pete. Sure up. Party on tomorrow night. Are you coming? Sure up. I'll come round in morning, fix it up. Sure up. Right then. I'll go see what's doing in Buffet Car. Coming? Shut up. No, I'm not. And you haven't got any money. Oh, aye. Good night, then. Lovely goal. Coming? Aye. Nice pass from McDonald. Murphy? I have a feeling it was Murphy. Hang on. I think you're right. I think it was Murphy. Hey? My mistake. Are you sure it was Murphy? Tomorrow it'll be over, barring the Sunday papers. Over now, really, till the replay next Wednesday. From one to the next to the next. It's a good trip, a football trip, when you win. When you lose, it's hell of a long way back. When you draw, it's sort of ordinary. Sort of grey. Not black, not white. Rovers, they have more black than white on the whole. Mostly it's grey. Just dull, grey and ordinary. But we keep on watching, keep on waiting, waiting for the white. If you don't keep on going, you might miss it. And there's nothing worse than knowing it's been and knowing you've missed it.